What's up, YouTube? Nick here. Attempting to do a VR for the uh, Smoking Roosters 200 sub giveaway. He's giving away some cool prizes. So, hey, thought I'd end and give it a try. I'd be happy with either one of the prizes, the pipe or the uh, Mississippi River half pound. Start out with the sound. Smoke my little billiard here. Got me some uh, Froggy Morton on the bayou. Some good stuff. Anyway, I want to say thank you, Smoking Roast, for putting this contest on. Uh, I guess I'll get right into it. The first story was uh, when I was in the second grade. I remember it like it was yesterday, though. We were in class. And I was passing around a note to a buddy of mine. And my teacher saw us. She came over and confiscated the note. I had written a dirty word on there. She was looking at it. And she says, well, congratulations, Nick. You spelled the word right. I'm going to have to give you a prize. So uh, she said, when the ice cream cart comes around, I'm going to buy you an ice cream. Hey, cool. I did spell it right. So about an hour later, sure enough, ice cream cart came around. She bought me an ice cream. She says, come on up in front of the class. So I go up there. She puts the ice cream up against the chalkboard and tells me to hold it up there with my nose. She didn't even take the wrapper off, so I couldn't lick it. So I sat there and held that ice cream on that chalkboard till it melted. No. <laughs> That's pretty embarrassing. Second story happened about eight years ago. I had put an application in for a job, and uh, they had called me in for an interview. Well, it just so happened that particular time I was sick with a bad cold, runny nose, watery eyes, the whole bit. Well, I didn't want to miss that opportunity for the interview. So I docked myself up a little bit, and I go on in. When I get there, I'm sitting at the front of the desk talking to the lady. It's going along pretty good. Well, I felt a sneeze coming on. And I tried to hold it, you know, close my mouth. But it came anyway. Well, what happened was, a big old snot bubble, about that big, big as a tennis ball, come out my left nostril. And it just sit there forever, it seemed like. It's about the size of a tennis ball, but it might as well have been as big as a beach ball. And I'm sitting there looking at that lady, and we made eye contact, and I'm like, thinking to myself, oh man, what am I doing? So I tried to suck that snot bubble in, Finally, finally I get it in, and I'm like, what do I do here? So I played it off like it never happened. And she continued on with the interview. But needless to say, I never got a call back from them. I don't think I'd have accepted it anyway. So those are my two Embarrassing moments I can think of right off the top of my head. So, anyway, good luck everyone in the contest. And once again, thank you, Smoking Rich, for putting it on. Y'all take care, live free or die.